I'm Sean. I'm a voice instructor who gives lessons via the internet. And today I'm going to give you a crash course in training to do what I just did, the 25-second primal scream that comes at almost seven minutes into The Grudge by Tool, an awesome song by an awesome band in my opinion. To do this 25-second primal scream, you're going to want to be able to do the following five things. Number one, breathe low with no unnecessary tension. Number two, do a leaky tire breathing exercise for at least 25 seconds preferably 40 to 45 seconds, to give you practice with taking in a lot of air and letting it out at a slow, controlled rate. Number three, use what's called cry mode so you can maintain the A4 note that Maynard does, which is kind of up there for guys, without your voice cracking or getting strained. Number four, be able to add healthy distortion to your voice so it actually sounds like a primal scream. And number five, do distortion at a relatively low volume level, as in noise volume level, since this will save you air so you can hold the note longer. Now this really is a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna move fast through it. Let's start with proper breathing. Watch the video by Eric Arsenault listed in the description to learn more about proper breathing technique. But basically, breathe low into the stomach area and lower back below the ribs without raising your chest or getting tense in the neck area. Do 10 slow, controlled breaths per day in this way, and you'll soon start to get a handle on it. Once you do, try the leaky tire exercise. Take a big, low breath, Again, keeping your shoulders and neck relaxed and let out an S sound for as long as you can. <sighs> Try to keep your S flow rate constant and just enough to keep the S sound going. Like rather than S. That's a really leaky tire. When you do breathing exercises, if you really push them, there is a chance you could pass out. So please do them somewhere safe where if you fell, you wouldn't get hurt. And hey, another reason for a helmet. When you get up to 40 to 45 seconds with this, you're ready to give this primal scream a solid try. Do a few leaky tire exercises every day or at least every other day to build yourself up for this. If you can't get to 25 seconds doing this, you're not likely going to be able to do a primal scream for 25 seconds. But no worries, you can train yourself up to it. The first time I tried this primal scream, I think I was only able to get to like 12 seconds. I also had to do a number of takes to finally make it to 25 seconds in the beginning clip. When I'm relaxed, I can just do it. But when I'm nervous, like I was a bit, because uh-oh, this one's on camera, I burn extra oxygen and don't quite make it. So stay relaxed, that's important. This primal scream is on a A4 note, on an A4 note, which is not an easy note to sing for men especially, because it's typically right at the second bridge into head voice and may be difficult to maintain in a chest voice sound or a powerful sound if you haven't trained your voice up to it. The bleeding air grit or decompressed distortion does actually make this note easier than holding a clean A4 note, at least in terms of stabilizing things against voice cracks. But it's a good idea to first build the strength to sing this note clean with power. To do that, you'll likely need to engage cry mode to get your mix voice going. There are videos from Robert Lunty's The Vocalist Studio that talk about cry mode, and he has a belting in the head voice course that goes into it on Udemy. Steve Glazer also has a singing course in Udemy where he talks about mixed voice and he recommends you be obnoxious. And Draven Gray talks about it in his rock singing course on Udemy. It's a top-down phonation from the top back of the mouth and it feels like a whimper up high and back in the mouth as you lift your soft palate. Try yawning to get a feeling for lifting your soft palate. Mm. And I like to get really whiny like a kid and say as Steve Glazer suggests, <laughs> I don't I don't want to. That activates my cry mode right before I try to sing a note. So here's the A4 note in a weak head voice. Hey. And then here it is again when I engage my cry mode activated mixed voice. <laughs> I don't I don't want to. I don't want to. Hey, 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 hey. A little more powerful, right? Okay, next thing. Healthy distortion. I highly recommend Draven Gray's Extreme Singing Course on Udemy. He was my teacher, and in my opinion, he's a really good dude and a great teacher. Distortion can take a while to master, but again, I'm going to give you the crash course. You want the distortion to come from the false chords above the actual vocal chords, and you don't want the vocal chords grinding against each other. None of this. You want them to come, come together cleanly. Start with a pulse or fry sound. Uh, that's a pulse. Then raise the pitch, and it'll get you to a witch cackle, where you should feel the distorted vibrations coming from up and back in the mouth near the soft palate. 
that's where you want to feel your distortion coming from. For you beginning distorters out there, keep your tongue humped up to direct the distortion vibrations out of your mouth, away from your vocal cords, so the distortion doesn't bounce back and grind your cords. Using an A, A sound will help you keep the tongue hump going. As you get more experience, you can safely do distortion with your tongue flat, which will give a less edgy, more full sound, but I recommend being safe when you start and humping your tongue. Eh, humping it like this. Eh, not, uh, eh. If you feel grinding of your vocal cords, stop and do some straw exercises to rejuvenate the cords. I'll put a link to a video on the straw exercise in the description, but it's basically whimpering like a dog very lightly and doing pitch sirens with a cocktail straw for air resistance. Straw exercise is like a gentle rub down for the vocal cords. Now try a smoker's voice or talking like Batman, talk like Batman. We're working towards decompressed or bleeding air grit, by the way, wherein the vocal cords are not completely closed along a line, but some air is able to bleed through. Go back and forth between a Batman or smoker's voice and an A3 clean note, an octave below the note the primal scream is on. A3, smoker's voice, hey, 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 hey. If you can't activate a good distortion sound that way, try grunting like you're taking a number two, I'm serious, to get breath pressure under the glottis or vocal cords, which are at first closed to hold the breath back. Then let air bleed through, and you should get a little distortion when you do this. So that'd be like, Do this a few times where you get distortion right as you let the air out, and then try to hold on to that distortion. If you're having trouble getting the hang of healthy distortion, don't worry. It's not an easy, intuitive thing generally, and you may want to take lessons like with me or keep working on exercises in Draven's course. Once you can do healthy distortion, it's time to see how low you can take your volume and still maintain a distorted primal scream type sound. The primal scream sounds loud, but actually it doesn't have to be. A microphone can amplify it. And also, when we hear this sort of primal scream sound, in my experience, our brains think it's louder than it is. Here's a volume swell on an A4 note with distortion. Practice this to gain control over your volume knob separate from your distortion knob. Maynard's doing this on an ah vowel sound, which will tend to flatten out your tongue just like at the doctor when you say ah. Hopefully you've practiced healthy distortion with your tongue humped up to this point and can simply roll the tongue hump down so ah, to go from eh sound to an ah sound and still keep things non-grinding on the vocal cords. So let's quickly review. Number one, do low breathing exercises for optimal breathing for singing. Number two, do the leaky tire exercise to b- gain breath control. S- Number three, practice being obnoxious and I don't want to engage cry mode for singing up high with power. Number four, get your bleeding grit distortion going by keeping the distortion vibrations high off the throat, such as starting from a pooping feeling. Yep, poop and cry. To sing well, I recommend you bring out your inner baby. And number five, practice singing distortion at low noise levels to save air. Once you've got good breath control, can sing an A4 clean with power by using cry mode, and can add healthy distortion at a low volume, give this primal scream a try. I hope this crash course helps, and please leave a comment if and when you make it to the full 25 seconds. Good luck, and thanks for watching.